what are economists saying uh, is going to likely be the outlook uh, for the remainder of this year and for next year. So I would certainly be looking at that if I were internal audit. I, I would probably have a handful of key risk indicators uh, that I'd be monitoring in addition to those economic forecasts. I'd be looking at uh, the, the company's uh, financial forecasts. I'd be concerned about what level of experience do we have in our budgeting and forecasting teams in the company. Uh, if they haven't been around through an economic downturn, uh, are they going to be perceptive enough to recognize the signs that they need to begin to adjust the budget? So in building financial resilience, we need a range of skills and competencies within internal audit. But we also need to think about it in terms of the overall composition of the team and how those skills and experience come together. It's an increasingly complex environment and in turn, Lord, it needs to draw upon people who have financial skills, but also people who have skills operationally, technically, uh, technology. Increasingly, we're all going to have to understand and be comfortable with things like AI and machine learning. And it will be how those come together and the interface that teams create uh, that will enable them to be agile and to respond quickly in an environment that is in, is changing really rapidly. So I think really understanding your audience, first of all, is I think really important. Do they like to hear what you have to say or do they not like to hear what you have to say? So you have to really adjust your messaging, but also the way of delivering that message. As an example, you can apply different techniques, like just say things directly, or give people uh, an audit where you're doing business continuity or something along the lines that you would expect to sit along with resilience um, to, to give them sort of a growing awareness or, or a, a view or visibility on how resilient an organization is. But if the audience is not as receptive to some of these resilience related risks, the alternative way to go around that might be to apply something uh, called incremental politics. So basically grow a level of realization and awareness through with a wider set of audience that then starts to create its own dynamics and people start to talk about it. And then also they will start to talk about it to the senior leadership and the exec team. So it's, it's always good to have you know, direct communications, but I think being aligned and lined up with and synced up with other people, a wider community, I think will really help sort of grow a level of understanding uh, around resilience and the risks and some of the trade-offs. Mm -hmm.